A penny for your thoughts. It seems people in Quebec may soon need it. If an Ottawa think tank is correct, that province may be headed for financial disaster and every penny counts. Andrea Morozik of the Institute of Marriage and Family in Canada joins us now live from Ottawa. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So we'll take a closer look at this study and the study really does look at Quebecers preference to live common law and this is instead of marrying this is a well-known fact that this is the case in Quebec. What do you see as the biggest downside to that? Well, the, 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 the piece that we put out today is called the Quebec Family Portrait. So it really looks at statistics across the board, family-related statistics uh, for Quebec families. And that includes, obviously, the economy. It also includes the, it also includes the social statistics, like uh, marriage versus common law. Um, the Quebec cohabitation rate is a great deal higher than the rest of the country. And we asked the question there, knowing that marriage is a stabilizing factor and knowing that marriage provides for certain social goods, um, we asked the question of what that will do down the road um, when we see that Quebec has such a low marriage rate. So is the concern that that preference is having an effect on the economy? Um, well, that certainly is a, a correlation that could be drawn. We earlier in the uh, uh, month released a report about that factor, about how the economy pertains to social statistics and vice versa. Um, certainly in family breakdown situations, kids are at risk of a number of different things like increased risk to drop out of school, which would obviously have implications for the economy down the road, given that we live in such a knowledge-based economy where schooling is so important. Let's talk about Quebec's debt load because I know there's a a lot of, um, of re reference to that in the study. How bad is it right now and how close to crisis would you say that province is? Um, this is not news. Uh, this is information that we gathered from the Conference Board of Canada suggesting that Quebec's debt to GDP ratio is, is very poor. In fact, um, just behind places like Italy and Greece, and these are countries that you don't want to be keeping that kind of company these days, um, Canada is not too far behind, which is a point we make that uh, in, when looking at Quebec statistics, if the portrait isn't altogether great, Canada as a whole should also be looking at our own circumstances in whatever province we're in. Oh boy, you're right. That isn't a parallel that I think anybody would want to uh, have made today, Greece versus uh, Quebec. Let's talk about moving forward. Does the IMFC make any recommendations for people, for officials, policymakers, lawmakers on how to solve some of these problems, how to move forward in a better way? Well, certainly there's the general um, purse tightening sorts of things and the IMFC, Institute of Marriage and Family Canada, we're not economists, so we don't get into that. But when we look at marriage as a stabilizing force and family breakdown as a problem for um, social stability and for the economy going forward, we certainly would draw attention to that for Quebec policymakers to examine different ways in which to strengthen the institution of marriage. Um, right now they're uh, obviously, as we've discussed, engaging much more in cohabitation and it's a bit of a social experiment. And given that we have research showing that marriage is a strength for society that's something we think that would be wise for the Quebec government to examine and look at ways to encourage a more stable form for families and just one last question for you I know there is also a talk about how the population is aging in Quebec I don't know if you can broaden this out and talk about other provinces but I guess this is a reality really in many places in this country so how does that factor into the study across the developed world Canada is not alone and pro provinces in Canada are not unique in this way we are faced with an aging society and low fertility rates that however is magnified in Quebec where um, the population is aging more quickly um, at the other side fertility they have seen an uptick in fertility but it remains below, rep below below replacement levels and so these are things that across the country we have to consider how we're going to fund our social programs in the future when we don't have young people coming in to replenish and to uh, pay taxes in the future basically certainly makes sense Andrew Morozik of the Institute of Marriage and Family in Canada. Appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.